Christian Church with the responsibility, among other things, to receive and manage funds from allocation of the federal federation account for the reconstruction and rehabilitation of roads, houses, and other infrastructure damages, as well as tackle the menace of poverty, ecological problems, and any other related environmental and developmental challenges in the Southeast states, and for other related matters, standing in the name of Honorable Chukuka Oyema Wilfred, Honorable Ozo Mainkema Bonta, Honorable Henry Wabba, Honorable members who recall that the bill was read the first time on Wednesday, 22nd February 2017. I now invite Honorable Oyema to move that the bill be now read a second time. Sponsors of the bill first, Honorable Abonta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues. My name is Uzama Nkim Abonta, Mr. Speaker, I'm from Abia State. Mr. Speaker, I speak in total support of this bill for reasons I can vouch here. Starting with the speaker, if you look at the funding components of this bill, it will draw largely from the states of Southeast. Putting no financial pressure on any other states on Nigeria as a whole per se. Mr. Speaker, they are asking for legal background, legal framework to be organized to cushion the effects of long-term neglect to cushion the effect that resulted from the destruction of the civil war, to cushion the effect of being forgotten in national planning. Mr. Speaker, recently, if you look at the budget in the past three, four years, you will see a degradation in the budget of Southeast. Mr. Speaker, it is imperative that every region, every community, Nigeria as a whole, should devise means and ways for sustainable development, as we even saw a bill this afternoon that was asking for fund for sustainable development. What Southeast is asking for, more or less, is an opportunity to have fund for sustainable development coupled with what they may get from there. Mr. Speaker, if we go back to history lane, it is only proper that we must be united in the sovereign welfare of Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, history is not far-fetched. In the southeast, we have a lot of agitations even going on right now. What is the reason of these agitations? If you look at the cost root of it, you will see that it's not far-fetched from what we are asking for. Mr. Speaker, colleagues, not too long we kept out from insurgents who will not finish conquering Boko Haram. If you look at the study of it, what led to the insurgents? The poor conditions of the Northeast. For the fact that they lack a lot of infrastructures and education. How did we remedy it? We came here and provided commission to address the issues of notice and to take care of internally displaced persons. If you also look down the southeast, you also notice a lot of internally displaced persons that have not been addressed. No wonder the hero of Nigeria, General Gowan, in his wisdom, at the end of the war, declared three hours, reconstruction, rehabilitation, and reconciliation. Mr. Speaker, 50 years after it has not been done. Honorable colleagues, Few days ago, Mr. Speaker, you were in Aba, Aba is a disaster zone. From calculations, Aba alone took over 1,000 bombs from the uh, um, civil war. That created all the holes and the erosion and all whatnot. If we cannot now have a commission to address these peculiarities, these issues, as it affects Southeast, then there won't be the opportunity again. We are the age where we must look at issues realistically. I want to beg my colleagues that the honorable thing to do is to allow the commission. Prior adventure, others may also take the cue. There's nothing wrong, I say. Before this time, Nigeria ran on regional basis. Before this time, Nigeria ran successfully on regional basis. 
where people manage what they got in the way they deemed fit. Am I protected? If we do not look at issues in that manner, then some will feel neglected. Some will feel marginalized. Some will feel as second class students, then agitations may be on the increase. Whatever is bringing up the agitation in the Southeast, we should look for a way to cushion it now, to address it and nip it in the bud before it will snowball to something we cannot handle. I think that this bill seeks to cure a lot of things and to stop what could be futuristic crisis in Nigeria. I'll take example. In the Niger Delta, before the, came, the crisis came, the surgeon came, what happened? They were made to be spectators in the industry and not particular. And when they saw John mistakenly the Abuja, they saw bridges on land. And they said, we have water. There are no bridges. Honorable colleagues, well, my right of reply is... My right of reply is very simple and straightforward. One is to thank all honorable members here for supporting this bill, especially my brother, Engineer Sani, and then to assure everybody that at committee level, when we take it to the committee stage, all these things you've raised against the bill, that is the proper place to address them. When they go for public hearing, the public will come, you will come, we're also part of the public, and raise these issues, and then there's nothing that is 100% um, correct. Then we correct, adjust, and get the right thing. Thank you. I just want to thank everybody for supporting it, and I know we shall all pass it. Thank you. Honorable Sani Zoro. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker, my dear colleagues. I'm even more comfortable speaking from this seat, I realize. Uh, Honorable Speaker, my own is just to attempt and shed light on this issue, having listened very carefully to the discussion. And I want to say that once I see a good cause, I can recognize it, and I won't have a problem aligning with it. However, let me just uh, remind us of what happened in the process of uh, driving the North East Development Commission bill? At some point in time at the Senate, in fact, when they were to adopt it, two senators, one from Kano and one from Zampara, decided to ambush the bill in order to include Kano and Plato as beneficiaries of the bill. Those senators called me to say that Kano and Plato because they have suffered for internal displacement, should also benefit from you know, the bill. But I stood my grounds and lobbied my colleagues to understand that by the name of the bill itself, it was restrictive. It's not its development commission bill. Now, what I'm saying is that to lean on an argument advanced by one of our colleagues earlier on, my fear is that if we begin to come up under development commission bills, apparently every zone has all sorts of challenges that we can all articulate and come via bills. This is, um, excuse me, this is just one fear that I have. Secondly, I also recognize that yes, while we are representing our individual constituencies, and that is why we are here, it is also absolutely true that this is a consensus building mechanism. We represent the Nigerian elite, we drag its politics. Now to build a consensus, I think it takes time. And from my perception, from my reading of this discussion so far, it appears that not so much consultation has gone into the debate. And my fear is, if the house is divided, whichever way, you know, takes the day, I will not be comfortable if at the end of it, we all go with recriminations and acrimonies that this is capable of generating. Now, the third one, the third aspect, Mr. Speaker, on the 27th of February, you wrote a letter to withdraw the North East Development Commission bill from the executive arm of government. Why? 
because as you explained, the executive made certain observations and insisted that the provisions of the Northeast Development Commission Bill as passed by the two chambers should be aligned to constitutional provisions. My colleague, Dr. Honorable Mohammed Sane Audu has also pointed to such provisions. And my fear also is that if this bill were to be passed and taken to the executive for accent, such observations may be raised. And that calls, that calls for better consultation. Now, the third one is the sentiment, actually. Now, centrifugal forces have seem to have taken over the polity. Everyone is dragging, everyone is talking on behalf of his region, his zone, and so on. There is no problem. In the 21st century, things are being seen from the prison of where you belong. We hear the President of the United States of America talking about America first. So there is absolutely no problem. If Southeast, our colleagues from the Southeast, see everything from the perspective of the Southeast. However, that one also has its own problem. For instance, when my colleague talked about, that's the mover of the bill, talked about Aba suffering from over 1,000 bombs during the Civil War. A kind of man can tell you that the first bomb dropped by the late Odumeg Ojuku was at Panisau in Kano. And that's what provoked the whole crisis. Now, someone else can tell you that the elimination, the de decimation of the entire political and military elite by soldiers led by Nzegu was what actually provoked the war. So quite a number of people, you can see things from so many perspectives. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, I'm saying that in view of the discussions we have had so far, I will advise that the mover of the motion, as well as all those who support the motion, and even those who do not have, consult further in view of all the arguments that have been advanced, so that at the end of which... Now, I'm saying at individual levels. Now, Mr. Speaker, for instance, the North East Development Commission Bill has not yet been accented to. It has not been accented to, and it will not be good if, for instance, members of the North East caucus begin to think that this is a plan to stalemate their own bill, for instance. And that is why I say, as a consensus builder, I believe in forming consensus, we should be able to agree let us further discuss this matter at individual levels across our caucuses and come up with something. That is my own opinion, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Well, um, the truth is that there's no way we can exhaust this debate, so we'll have to cut it off at some point. And that point is now. Yes. Um, I don't think anything can be added or taken out of um, the debate. So um, I'll put the question. And I employ members just to vote their conscience. So the question is the bill will be now read a second time. Those in favor of the motion say aye. aye. Those against it say nay. Yeah. In, in, in order to be too sure, I'll listen twice. I'll throw it again. But I had my impression as to who carried the day. But I would, in order to be too sure, I'll put it again. The question is that those, the bill be now read the second time. Those in favor of the motion say aye. aye. Those against it say nay. Aye. The nays have it.